Expectation versus Reality Part 2. If you're ready, let's begin. What's up mga Cup and welcome again to our When in Halifax Cup Unity. Ayan mga Cup, kumusta po kayo? So on this video, it will be our Part 2 ng Expectation versus Reality. Kung hindi mo pa napanood yung Part 1, I'll put the link on the description below or on the right upper corner of this video, just click the link and watch the part 1 after nitong part 2. So anyway mga kap, what is the expectation versus reality? Expectation number 1. Ayan, the first one mga kap, if you, if you are in the Philippines, if you are going to travel from point A going to point B, yung usual transportation natin, maraming option. Pwede tayong sumakay sa pedicab. Pwede tayong sumakay sa tricycle. Pwede tayong sumakay sa taxi, jeepney, and buses. And what, you, what we usually do is tinatawag natin para. So, gaganyan ka lang sa jeepney and then baba, uh, titigil na yung jeepney. Tawag ka ulit ng tricycle, paparahin mo ulit siya, titigil sa yung tricycle. And at the same time, anytime, basta may nakita kang tricycle, parahin mo, di ba? Pag mayroong buses, may nakita kang buses at yung yung bus naman ay eh, yung dadaanan yung gusto mong puntahan parahin mo lang titigil sila so that's a transportation that we have in the Philippines but dito you are expecting na the same yung transportation but the reality it's not it's totally different po mga ka number one that I want you to remember if you are coming here in Halifax or here in Canada hindi ka po pwedeng magpara ng taxi. So, hindi mo may nakita kang taxi at paparahin mo sila, hindi sila titigil. So, how to get a taxi? To get a taxi, you need to call a number. Number ng dito sa Halifax is Casino Taxi. Uh, tawagan mo yung number at sasabihin mo doon sa operator kung saan ka pipick up in. For example, tumawa ko sa number, sasabihin ko yung location ko, at later, siguro mga less than 5 minutes, nandyan na yung taxi sa harap mo. So, hindi mo kailangan pumara ng taxi. Uh, kahit may nakita kang taxi na empty, hindi mo siya pwedeng parahin at hindi ka niya titigilan. So, in speaking of para, may nakita kang bus, paparahin mo, hindi din po siya titigil. So, I have two things that I want you to remember pag pinag-uusapan natin yung bus. Number one, it's time-bounded. Meron po silang specific na oras kung saan titigil na bus stop. So, kailangan mo tumayo sa specific na bus stop. Every bus stop meron pong specific number. So, you have a mobile phone, you will check the bus pa, bus pa, uh, bus stop number. So, for example, 0001, nakalagay yung uh, bus number uh, dadaan uh, bus 4A, for example, dadaan sa 001 bus stop at exactly 7.30 a.m. So, at 7.30 a.m., siguro mga 5 minutes and sometimes na late sometimes maaga so dapat nandun ka na ng 10 minutes ahead of time uh, para hindi ka maiwan ng bus so dadaan yung bus sa oras na yon maybe 10 minutes late or 10 minutes advance again you need to be there so it's time bounded titigil sila doon mismo sa specific na bus stop so for example just imagine mga ka ang bus stop is mga 50 meters away pa sa yo dumaan sa yung bus paparahin mo, hindi yan titigil. Titigil lang sila doon sa specific na bus stop. So, ganun kadisiplinado ang mga bus. So, ito na nangyari. Ito na, tumatakbo ka na at oras na para umalis yung bus. Medyo sabihin na natin, 10 meters na na at sumara na yung pintuan, hindi ka na bubuksan. Aalis na po yung bus. Even though 10 meters na lang. Or sabihin natin siguro mga limang tao pa. So, hindi yan titigil at bubuksa yung pinto. Kasi pag sara na yung pinto, boom, alis na. So, that's the expectation versus reality. And another one is wala pong tricycle, wala pong pedicab dito. So, the only mode, trans mode of transportation po dito sa Halifax is through taxi and bus. So, another one is sabi nga, uh, rental. In terms of transportation, pwede ka mag-rent dito sa Halifax or dito sa Canada. Sa Pilipinas po, uh, what we expect 
kasi panagrenta tayo sa Pilipinas, usually kasama yung driver at van. For example, punta ka ng Bicol, Bic from Bicol to Manila, magre-rent ka ng van, usually van, kaya may kasamang driver. At yung driver, sila yung magda-drive sa'yo all throughout dun sa eterinary mo. But dito po sa Halifax or dito sa Canada, if you want to rent a car, kukunin mo yung kotse doon sa Let's say, for example, yung parentahan ng kotse, uh, ano ba, enterprise yun. Pupunta ka sa enterprise, pagpunta mo sa enterprise, you need to log in, you just, the, you will fill up the forms, you will pay your rent. Ang ibigay sa'yo is susi and ikaw yung driver ng kotse. So, you can rent a car, ikaw mismo ang driver. Wala pong kasamang driver. So, that's the expectation versus reality. Sabi ko nga dito mga kap, once nandito ka sa Canada, utos mo, gawa mo. Expectation versus reality naman sa mga kaibigan, ayan, sa mahilig mag-party. Expectation mo, syempre, nasa, Pili nasa Canada ka na, ang mga kaibigan mo ay may mga pera na at pwede ka na mag-party, party, mag-chup-chup-chup, party, mag-coffee mag <laughs> mag time, no? Pwede ka na mag-tea time, coffee time sa mga Starbucks. Yeah? Expectation mo, guys, sa Pilipinas, one call ahead yung kaibigan mo, and then party, party na kayo all night, ayan. Yan. So, that's expectation. But the reality dito sa Canada, because very valuable po ang per ora, halos hindi or mahirap mag-gather ng barkada dito. It's either uh, nakabook na yung chef and you need to book a party. For example, you need a coffee, coffee time, you need to book at least two weeks advance or one month advance sa mga katropa mo. Ganun po ka-schedule, ganun ka-valuable ang per ora. Kasi hindi po pwede na ngayon mo naisip at ngayon kayo magko-coffee because pwede mayroon silang trabaho or pwede magkatrabaho pa sila. Kasi dito, mostly, ang mga kababayan natin ay merong isang, isa, dalawa, tatlong trabaho. So, it's very valuable yung oras nila. So, we value also the time of our kababayan or our katropa or our barkada. So, what we do mga ka para magkaroon kami ng gathering or magkaroon kami ng um, coffee time is we we communicate and then we book like for example two weeks uh, two weeks advance or one one month advance so that's expectation versus reality sabi nga yes may pera na akong pang kape pero wala ka namang katropa kasi yung lahat ng katropa mo ay nagtatrabaho so yun and again we value our time so dito palaging may advance booking. Palaging nakabook, ano, nakalagay sa calendar. Dito lang po ako mga cap, nakalagay sa calendar na pupunta sa ganitong lugar, nakalagay sa calendar. Pupunta sa ganito, pupunta kakain sa restaurant, nakabook sa calendar. Kasi it's very valuable po yung oras and you need to maximize your time as well. So that's expectation versus reality. And that's our part 2 expectation versus reality. If you want to ask question about expectation versus reality, comment it below mga kap and I'm going to create a video about expectation versus reality. Uh, yun lang yung mga naisip ko ngayon as a comparison but if you have question in your mind Paano kaya pag ganito? So, what is my, this is my expectation. Ano yung reality sa, sa Halifax? So, if you want to ask questions, please feel free to comment on the comment section. Eh, malay mo, gawin natin ang video sa next part 3 ng expectation versus reality. So, yan, that's it mga kap. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and see you in our next video. Bye mga kap.